Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do is working on a stance phase where we're thinking about all of the muscles that incorporate a stance phase, um, control of that stance phase. So we need to think about having a stance leg and then everything else that's going to be moving around that stance leg. So we take hold of the band, we start off with our stance phase leg being our left leg. That means our right hand or our right arm and our right leg are going to be moving at the same time, taking us through the gait cycle with the stance phase leg being the focus. Okay, so we'll start off left leg with the as the stance phase leg, right arm with the band, right leg is going to be behind, and it's going to be in hip extension with slight internal rotation. And we want to think about our weight being on the heel, and at the same time to get that stance phase leg glute to engage, we've got to lift up the right hip. So that engages our obliques. Now from there, create a little bit of tension on the band, and then all we're gonna do is pull the right shoulder back that's attached to the band as the right leg lifts up. And in that position, I'm really thinking about my glute in that stance phase with my obliques lifting my pelvis, my hips are slightly tucked under in a posterior tilt, and my shoulder is back. So effectively giving me that runner's stance pose. And I'm just gonna hold that, think about keeping my quad relaxed in that stance leg, glute contracted. I'm just gonna hold that for 10 to 15 seconds, making sure that I don't fire up the hip flexor too much, and then relax.